Good evening, navigation traders. Today is Thursday, December 5th. Just wanted to send out a quick video to give you some thoughts on what's going on today and tomorrow. Uh, it's currently about, we've got about a little less than 40 minutes till the market closes on Thursday. So the markets are still open. And we're looking at a chart of the S&P 500, so ES. And what I'm looking at here is we've got about, you know, we like to keep a little bit of short delta and our short delta right now is about two and a half to one versus our theta. That's kind of the ratio we look at. And we like to be anywhere from one to one to five to one. Uh, we're, we're in the middle there. Uh, I have been doing a little bit more short delta or letting some short delta accumulate. And here's here's what I'm looking at. I mean, we've, we've just been on this incredible run. We had the uh, last week we had that big push down and now we're starting to creep back up. So kind of pull back up after that flush down. What I'm looking at tomorrow is for a potential rollover or early next week. And, you know, wh what am I, why do I think that? I, I just, I like to look at these situations where we've, we've had a situation where we get a, uh, a move in one direction, in this case, this flush down and, and we are now creeping back up and, and just looking for a rollover. No probabilities. This is this is more of just something of kind of market awareness, watching the markets for 20 years and, you know, plays I like to make. Now, does that mean it's absolutely going to happen? No, of course not. But you need to take an assumption on the market. Of course, being delta neutral is an assumption. Uh, having a bearish assumption is an assumption. Having a bullish assumption is an assumption. So it's okay to have a directional bias. And that's what we're doing here. So we're just taking a little bit of a directional bias to the short side. Uh, we've got we've got quite a few different short delta positions on with IWM, XLK, QQQ, DIA. So we're well positioned for this for this rollover if it does in fact happen. Now keep in mind tomorrow morning, Friday morning before the markets open at 730 AM Central Time, they are doing the announcement of the non-farm payrolls and unemployment. So depending on how those numbers come out, I mean, that's that's what could trigger uh, the movement in the market, even before the market, even before the even before the cash market opens. So look for that around 730 a.m. And, you know, if it, depending on if the market likes those numbers or likes those reports, uh, you know, that's that's what I'll be looking at to see if we can get a rollover, which would uh, really help our portfolio. And if the market does go down a decent amount, I also think we could see a, a real rally in bonds. So you, you, you kind of got the opposite in bonds where you had this big push up and now it's pulling back and, and these bonds could turn around and rip higher. So that's kind of the anticipation in bonds. We do have a, an adjusted short strangle in bonds. If we take a look at that, we're well positioned for that as well. Um, so if you know bonds move higher, that's going to move us closer into the center of our range there, which would be great. And so I just, I really like how our overall portfolio is positioned. Uh, a couple other things here, just wanted to cover. Uh, one, uh, I, I posted in the community here, but just to reiterate, we've got a, a position on in Roku. This is a reverse iron duck. You can see prices all the way up here. Really very tiny chance of of it getting back into the max profit area, into the duck head. These options expire tomorrow, so we are just going to let these expire and collect that beak profit, in this case, 122 bucks. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, I was trying to get out of this. I've been I've had a resting order in for, for some time to get out of this at $2.49. I don't want to pay more than $2.50 because that we're just paying up to get out of it. Now, if you needed the capital, I mean, this is tying up 2300 bucks. So if you wanted that capital to redeploy into other trades, by all means, pay up a few cents. Uh, but with toss removing those exercise and assignment fees, we're just going to let this expire, collect that uh, beak profit and move on. So we're just holding that until tomorrow. Uh, the other thing is we had a um, we had a double calendar in RUT, R-U-T. We took off for a nice $460 profit. And then let's see, what's the other one? Oh, uh, the other one was RH. So this is kind of a... Uh, a normal iron duck, or I should say, uh, traditional iron duck, where 
In this case, price has moved way up the beak, way up here. So very similar situation. I was trying to get out of this at $2.49, which is just a penny less than the width of the call spread. The width of the call spread is $2.50. So I was trying to get out to, to book that beak profit, not getting filled. So again, we're just going to let this expire. There is a very little chance of it getting back to the max profit area. So if you needed this capital for other trades, again, just by all means, take that off, pay up a few cents and take that money and run. We're just going to let it expire and book that beak profit, which in this case is 128 bucks. And then lastly, last thing I want to mention was we put on a, a trade in Ulta. Ulta announces uh, earnings after the close today, I believe. Yeah, after market close. And so uh, we, have the, we have on this iron duck. So price is sitting right here. And so obviously if price shoots higher, uh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna collect that small beak profit. If price moves down into this area, we're gonna collect that max profit and these options expire tomorrow. So uh, we'll be holding this up near the close tomorrow. And of course, what we don't want it to do is we don't want price to come way down here, which is is possible. I mean, you know, earnings, earnings can move stock. So we'll see what happens, but still a high probability trade. It's got over a $20 expected move uh, from where it's at right now, up or down. So uh, hopefully if it moves down, it stays within that expected move. We'll book a really nice profit. If it rips higher, we'll still book that big profit. So hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let us know.